Welcome to C-Steps. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable HTTPS on your Netbox environment. As you can see on my video right now, I'm accessing my Netbox environment using the IP address. And if I try and access it via HTTPS, um, it's not resolvable or you're not, I'm not able to access uh, the web page because there's no certificate. We'll be using Nginx as our reverse proxy. So to install, run the following command. Select Y to continue. It's just a reminder, uh, please make sure your DNS entries are in place. If you have your firewall enabled, please make sure you allow access to the Nginx services, at a minimum the HTTP service. If you go to the web browser, you can now check to see if the Nginx service is up and running. You should see the default landing page. Run the following command to create your Nginx server block. If you possess your own certificate at this point, please use the following information as a template. Simply update the necessary section with the location of your certificate and the corresponding key for it. If you don't have a certificate and you wish to generate one using certbot, then use the following value and then amend the port number if needed, but the default will be 8000. Once that's done, save and close. Now let's enable the block by running the following command. You don't need to do this, but only run this command if you plan to have multiple server blocks within your Nginx environment to prevent hash bucket memory issues. Otherwise, it's not needed. You need to just basically go to the following line and, and comment it out. I didn't need to do this, so I will exit now. Next, run the following command to test to see whether or not if there are any errors within your Nginx files. As you can see, all is successful, so we will now restart the Nginx service. If you want to check the status of the Nginx service, uh, run the following command and as we can see it's in an active running state. If you used your own certificate, your Netbox appliance should now be accessible via HTTPS and no further actions are needed. If you don't have your own certificate, then we will generate one using CertBot. I currently don't have CertBot installed within my environment, hence why I'm going to be using the remove command just to confirm. As you can see, I never had uh, CertBot installed. I'll now run the following command to uh, see whether or not if I have snap installed as I will be utilizing this to install CertBot. Run this following command to uh, install snap if you don't have it installed within your environment, but I have it already installed so I will not run it. Run the next following command to install CertBot. Run the following command to create a symbolic link for CertBot. This avoids having to put the full path when executing a command. If you plan to make your Netbox environment public, then there is one command left to execute to generate the cert, which is listed within the CertBot website, as shown in the video. Ensure your public DNS A record points to your web server and is accessible online. But yeah, um, the only command left to execute is the sudo CertBot dash dash nginx. If you intend to keep your Netbox portal private, I will utilize my public DNS API. In my case, this was Cloudflare to generate a certificate. However, please ensure your internal DNS has a record that correctly points to your Nginx server. Since I'm logged in as root, I must run this following command to establish trust for the plugin installation. Next, run the following command to install the CertBot DNS Cloudflare plugin. The command for the plugin installation will be different if your DNS provider is not Cloudflare and is supported by CertBot. I will include a link in the video description where you can verify if your DNS provider is supported. Now that Cloudflare plugin is installed, I would run the following command to see if it has installed successfully. As you can see, the DNS Cloudflare plugin is now installed. I will now create a hidden folder within my home directory to store my API key. And then I would run the following command to create a file within that folder to store my API key. Now, as you can see, this is just an example on how to import the API key. For security reasons, I have blurred out my API key. But I'll leave a link within my video description on how to obtain your Cloudflare API key. Of course, if you're using a different uh, DNS provider, it will be different for you. Now, this following command would restrict access to the API key file. The following command will now initiate the certificate process and allow CertBot to automatically configure uh, your Nginx server block, enabling HTTPS access and also for future renewals. Feel free to modify or add any additional domain names you wish to include. In my case, I only needed uh, netbox.csteps.co.uk. Uh, after inputting the required, we can see that a certificate has been generated for me successfully and it's deployed it to Nginx. Now, if we go back to the web browser and try and access the web page via HTTPS, we can now access our Netbox, well, my Netbox appliance. I'm just going to now log in just to show that I can log in to my environment. So 
So yeah, we now have HTTPS enabled, but we will now perform a simulated renewal test just to see whether or not if it would renew successfully. And as you can see, it has renewed successfully well. It has simulated it. So during the renewal stage, it should all go well. So yeah, this is how you install HTTPS on your Netbox environment. And the DNS provider link, I said I would have in my video description. This is the website that I was talking about. And as always, if this video was informative, please do give it a like and do subscribe for future videos.